Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the G.I. Joe Classified Series Barbecue. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in that standard G.I. Joe Classified window box packaging, with the Cobra Island logo on the bottom left. Turning the box around, we can see that standard map-like image of Cobra Island. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Barbecue. He's finally here. I know some of them got him early, uh, but most of us that are getting our Target pre-orders in, uh, they're finally here, and he's freaking awesome. I think I'm going to start reviewing more and more classified figures as I'm falling in love with this line more and more. I was a big G.I. Joe collector as a kid, and you know I always said I wanted to get back into Joes when they became a 6-inch line, and they are, and man, I am just loving them so much. A barbecue here turned out great. Uh, I really love the helmet that we get here, uh, just that classic black looking really good, but I love the sculpt into like the side of the helmet. You got the little hose uh, going there to his uh, face mask, uh, done in that nice silver right there. Uh, you got a more polished reflective black for the lenses for his goggles, uh, which I think is really cool. But everything else looks really nice, dude. Uh, I love how you see like even little bits of like indenting and uh, damage to his actual armor, which is really cool, so I love that. Uh, you have more of like this oxygen tank thing right here, even a little reader right there with that little bit of green paint on there, which is really nice. Uh, some types of pouches right there. I'm not sure exactly what those are for, but all oh, this looks really good, dude. Back of the vest. So yeah, you see like little wears and tears and things like that. I think that's so cool. Uh, then what's also nice, you get like these two tones. So you get more like the orange color of his actual bodysuit than like the vest and the elbow pads and then inside the uh, forearms there, you got more of a red, so that's really cool. The sculpting all looks super good, man. Uh, and this lower torso part, well, actually, even his upper body here under this uh, vest is going to be all reused parts from Destro. So it's the exact same thing. Looking really good. I love the folds on there. The knee pads look really good. The boots, again, those are the exact same boots that we saw with Destro here. Man, they look so good, dude. I love this so much. I'm so happy about this. Again, I've just been falling in love with the classified line more and more. Uh, they're doing such a good job, and again, such a I'm a very old school GI Joe fan, especially the the Aura line, the uh, a real American hero line. Man, I love those toys, and this classified line is just making me fall in love with them more and more and more. All right, now let's talk accessories here. So we do get his pack right here, uh, some little nice little backpack. Uh, it's more of a type of like extinguisher pack. You got some extinguisher tanks, uh, maybe some water tanks too. Uh, well, what's really cool, you do get these little symbols. Right there too, you can see how a uh, little anti-fire, you know, hazards and things like that. So pretty cool, but I love the sculpting of this the little pipes and tubes and vents and things like that. All the stuff he's going to need. You just get a solid peg on the back like there to put into his back. We also do get a little hose right here that comes with it. It's a fairly bendy plastic, so that's really nice. Uh, you can use this to attach to the side of the pack like that. And then the other side is going to go to his little, oops, his little blaster right here. That's gonna plug onto the end like that. I can get this on there like so. Uh, and that's pretty cool too. You know, this is more like his fire extinguisher gun. Uh, I'm pretty sure it could shoot like different things like water uh, and then the extinguisher type of, uh, um, you know, whatever that white stuff is. I don't know. I don't know exactly what to call it. Chemicals, whatever it is that puts out fires. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I love that, man. And it flexes around and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so you can bring in the figure here. Uh, and then just peg this into the back like so, and it stays there very nicely. I love that. You can fold it into the uh, holster right here like so, so that stays in there very good, so I love that. Or you can hold it into his gun hand, and the, I noticed that the trigger is a little tricky to get in here. It's a fairly tight fit, but once you get it in there, it's actually pretty solid. Um, the hands feel a little stiff on this guy, but not, nothing terrible. Um, but it's just, it can be a kind of a pain in the butt. So, you know, once you get it in there, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Then you just maneuver that hose however you like, and boom. I think that's rad, dude. I think that's so cool. Oh, my God, I love this figure so much. So, actually, I'm going to take this off. 
right there. I'm gonna try and leave this in his, uh, I guess his holster right here as much as I can throughout this review like that. Like so there we go. So that works out pretty good. We also do get this really small ax. This is more like the one that you saw with the uh, vintage figure, which is really nice. I love the way that it looks. The sculpting is just really cool on that. All that little tech design uh, even has the blades on the fist, like that little pike on the end. Again, just like the vintage figure had the little spikes on the uh, handle right there. So I think that's really cool. Can't hold it in either hand, uh, but we do get a little side uh, holster right here. You can see how there's like a little C clip like that. Uh, I like to go around the handle like this. You can do it like that, or you can just hook it on straight like this and then pull this down so that the blade rests like so. So that works out great. And then lastly, we also do get a larger axe, which I'm so glad they included a second axe, like a bigger axe, which is really nice. Uh, something that firefighters would definitely use, so that's really cool. Nice. Nice and all black with a silver blade looking really good. Again, can holster it in any of his hands or hold it in any of his hands, uh, but we do get a clip right here on the backpack. So you can actually take this and then push it in there and it will hold nice and tight on his backpack. So I think that turned out great, dude. And one thing I love about the classified figures that I'm noticing a lot, uh, and it's not every figure, but a good chunk of them, uh, can e either holster most or all of their accessories on the figure at once. Um, <clears throat> maybe to some of you that doesn't mean anything, it's not a big deal. But for me, I love when a figure can actually do that. So that way I don't have a bunch of loose accessories in baggies and things like that and just throwing in buckets and stuff like that. So the fact that he can hold all his gear at the same time is super dope to me. And that just makes me love this so much more, man. I really dig this line. I dig what they're doing. And again, I'm just so happy about this. I'm geeking out about this line every time I get a new figure. Okay, so now let's run down his articulation. I'm gonna try and do this with all of his accessories on. And let's just see how that goes. Uh, so the head's on a ball joint, rolls around fairly nicely. So that's pretty good. Does turn left and right. This collar doesn't really hinder that at whatsoever. Can look up about that far, which is really nice. Can look down that much. The neck itself is on a separate ball peg, so that works out really good. And then you can pivot side to side, wobble like that, works really good. I'm just gonna go full 360, up and out that far. We do get a butterfly joint in there. We got rotation at the bicep. We got double jointed elbows that bend past 90. Rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we do get that standard uh, double ball peg that goes into his crotch area so he can roll around towards the bottom and then he does get a bit of an ab crunch he can pivot side to side and roll around and all that kind of stuff uh it is hindered by the overlay of this armor here the vest that he's rocking um but it, again if you have destro you know exactly what you're getting this exact same upper torso uh legs and hips can go up that far and back that much splits all the way out and probably more on this side because the gun's kind of hindering that over there we can rotate upper thigh. We can pull down on this joint to give us a little more motion. And that does help with some of these figures. You know, I've noticed, especially with this guy, it, that pull down feature on the hip does help. Uh, we can do double jointed knees, which is very nice. Kicks himself in his own butt. So always appreciate when a figure can do that. Rotation at the boot, ankles go up, down, and a sweet ankle rocker. So overall, man, I am so happy about this. I am, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of fiending for a new classified figure soon. Um, you know, and, and for the most part, I am cherry picking this line because I'm getting my favorites as a kid. Um, and a couple of new ones that I never had as a kid, but that I always wanted, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I'm I, it, I don't know. I'm just loving every figure that I've gotten so far. And this barbecue figure, so awesome, you know we're gonna get a redeco of him, like he was in the Slaughter's Marauders colors, you know, that green, blue, and brown color scheme, which is weird, but you know we'll get that eventually. But I think he rocks, man. He's such a great looking piece. I think Hasbro is killing it. I think the G.I. Joe team is doing such a good job. I commend them in everything that, that they're doing. And if you can find him, he's totally worth it and will look great in your G.I. Joe collection. 
So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a J.H.O. Joe Classified series Firefly and Destro. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the G.I. Joe Classified Series Barbecue. Now overall I think this figure is so badass. The sculpt came out gorgeous, the paint apps are very clean, uh, the articulation works pretty good for the most part. Uh, again, it is going to be hindered by the torso with that armor vest going on. Uh, and the legs can be a little tight sometimes, but it's nothing terrible. I do love the accessories, man. I always love classified series because they come with a ton of stuff. And I love the fact that we got his uh, more classic smaller axe, but we also get a big giant axe, which is really cool. I love the deck on the backpack with the hose and the gun. I mean, this just screams vintage yet modern barbecue, which I love, man. That's why I love this entire line. I think he's so awesome. I'm super happy I picked him up, and I think he would fit in great with any of your collections. So be excellent to each other. And stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.